Greetings all. This is Fayetteville State Athletics. We're here with head football coach in the second season, Coach Lawrence Kershaw. Coach Kershaw, we just completed our uh, second scrimmage today. It's Saturday, August 23rd. And I just wanted to have a brief conversation with you. Talk to us a little bit about some of the things you felt like the team did well today in the in the scrimmage and some of the things you'd like to see them improve on. Um, I thought the scrimmage was well played uh, for the most part. Um, didn't have a whole lot of penalties, but we do got some stuff that, that we got to work on. Um, as far as the offensive line being up on the ball, uh, defense jumped off sides a couple, a couple of times, um, but wasn't bad for, for a second scrimmage. Um, the biggest thing that we got to work on, we had too many drop passes, uh, so that, that was the number one thing for us uh, that we got to work on. Uh, but I, overall, um, I was happy on both sides of the ball um, with what we did. I think the game was well played. Um, and, you know, we just got to get better. With it, only a second scrimmage, but but it, it was it was well played and it went well. Coach, you had uh, two preseason All CIAA selections: your safety Michael Johnson and one of your offensive linemen Marcus Reed. But who are some people that have kind of like caught your eye in these scrimmages and just doing like off season workouts? Uh, Dennis Aline, uh, senior wide receiver for us. Um, he's a second team guy, uh, but but he, he's made the move to say, Coach, you're gonna have to play me. Um, he, he's, he's had a wonderful camp. Um, he was probably, he's probably been the best receiver in camp. Um, and he had a good, he had a good game today. I think he caught two touchdown passes. Uh, so he's been a bigger surprise on, on offense. And then defensively, uh, one of our caller corners, uh, Jalen Sal, um, he got a lot of time last year, uh, but he's, he's, he's also having a, having a great camp. Uh, so we're expecting a, a lot out of him, but those are probably the two main guys. Um, that has that hasn't been getting a whole lot of limelight on uh, both sides of the ball. That's that's had a great camp, and we're looking for a, a, a big season from them. Coach, September sixth, the the date is circled. We're playing Shawan. As we get closer to that date, what are some of the areas you want to concentrate on so you'll feel better prepared going into that matchup? Well, the biggest thing for us is, is last year we led the we led the country in the turnover margin, and we want to make sure that we do that again. We can't turn the football over. On offense, okay, and we got to get turnovers on defense. We can't miss tackles. We can't drop passes. Those, those are the things or the areas that, that we got to work on. Um, and as I told the guys, you know, we came into camp. We have four weeks into our first game. We just finished our second week of, of camp, um, and we're getting better by the day. This scrimmage was better than the last scrimmage. Uh, so that, that's all we can do. We, we're still not ready to play a football game yet. Um, we're building by the day. Um, but and, and as long as we keep improving daily, uh, we, we'll be okay. We'll be ready uh, come September 6th. Coach, we appreciate the time. We'll continue to keep checking in as we get closer to the start of the kickoff as well as just keeping this going throughout the season. Thanks again, and we wish you best of luck. Okay, thank you. All right, take care.